Our next guest is a talented musician and actress you know from shows like Unbecoming a God in Central Florida and Monarch, as well as from her band Gossip, whose album Real Power is out now. Please welcome back to the show one of our favorites, Beth Ditto, everybody. This whole time, I just learned so much. But from what? Uh, Diana from Crafts, not Craft okay. Services. I learned who did the things that they stick stuff on. You know, the things you hold up and. Stuff. I'm already so lost, <laughs> which is very in line with how it usually goes. Now I prepare questions. You mean in life in general? No, I'm good. In life, I'm good. This is why I should be a babysitter. Happy birthday, Ash. So every year you're here, huh? you ask to um, be a babysitter for my kids. Yes. And this time, I'm really going to take it under consideration based on how this goes. <laughs> but I, here's, here's the thing. I've got questions I want to ask you. And every time you Don't hear... Don't ask me. <sighs> Ramona's here. Ramona is your she uh, niece. She can answer the questions. Yes, she's here right now. She'll answer your questions. I'm not going to ask you questions about babysitting. I'm going to ask you questions, and if you, uh, like, actually answer them this time... I'm never going to babysit those kids. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I'll just find another job. I feel like here's why I'm not going to let you babysit my kids. Because <laughs> I'm going to, I okay. feel like on my way out the door, I'm going to be like, all right, here's the phone number. And you're going to be like this. You're not, you're going to just like be like, right. Exactly. Oh, I give your phone number out to like five people once. And like, <laughs> now I'm a bad babysitter. Yeah, because I feel like every, the people, you gave my number out to five people who then all gave it to five people, who all gave it to five people. And like, and now we have an MLM going, <laughs> you know? Yeah, I guess there's something to that. Rich! Hey, this is your first time out on a tour with your band Gossip. New music in for the first years. time in 12 years. Yeah. Is that exciting? For yeah, you? it is exciting. Look at me, I'm trying really hard to be like You're a... trying really hard to be a talking Well, also, right why now. do I have to... I have to come off with... Um, why did you make me follow that? Follow Maya? Maya Rudolph. I think you guys are in the same zip code. I love her so much. No. Yeah, yeah maybe. Yeah. <laughs> She is so funny. I was laughing so hard. Anyway, She's oh, I got to answer your question. So, when you guys get back into the studio after mm -hmm. twelve years apart, does it come back? Does it come back right away? Yeah, that's good. I All mean, right. like it's kind of like this. It's like, eh. Yeah. It's easy. Okay. But that's I have questions when, for when you, you though. Like, oh, you have questions for me? You're surprised. Well, we made it like two and a half minutes before you turned this the table. This is so much better. What? What's about to happen? Probably. All right. Let's see. What's been going on? <laughs> I think. Okay. No, remember. Never mind. I want to ask you. Really? Your first question? Well, I mean, last time I saw you, yeah. I was bonkers. Um, this time, I feel better. OK. Um, anyway, it was a whole situation. i got to put on my skirt. Um, anyway, you had said to me before, and it's haunted me since you came and you say hi, and you're so sweet and kind. And then you were like, oh, I've been doing stand-up. And I hadn't asked you one question about it. Like, you'd been like, you're like, I'm getting back to the swing of things. And then after I saw you after that, I got into this weird brain where I was like, I want to know the art of stand-up. And I started watching everything, and I have oh, so yeah. many questions. Really interesting. I do, because I was like, oh my, I was like, for one, I didn't know that people wrote jokes. Okay, you thought people, <laughs> you think people went out for like a, you thought a whole hour of stand-up was just winging it? Yeah. That, like literally, I that did. That would be like if after your song tonight, I said, did you just come up with that? I'd be like, I could. You could? Yeah. I want you to sing the song you're planning on singing, but the next time you're here, I want you to just wing one. And a one. Oh, and yes, just... wing one. Go. All right, let's go. All right, great.
So my that was with words and a hook. My first good job, y'all. My first takeaway would be you're better at music than I am at stand up. <laughs> I don't. God, yes, you are. I would never. Really I'm, I'm fine at it. What? I'm fine at music. No, you're very good at music. But don't you think it's the thing? It's, it's like that's why I was so shocked that people wrote jokes and yeah. took them on tour. I was like, what do you mean? Who first you can ask my partner. Even I've been like, I gotta watch this because I'm down with the art of stand up. Now tell me real quick. Do you like when you uh, are you were 18 years old when this band started? Yes. What were your expectations? 19. <laughs> what were your expectations as a young uh, a young person starting um, a band? What did you want it to? Come I to? was like, well, I gotta go to hairdressing school. Do you know who Carrie Brownstein is? Yeah. Well, she's in this band called Slater Kinney. Oh, and fantastic she, band. Yeah, fantastic band. So when we were 19, actually Ramona's mom is the first drummer of Gossip. Okay. Kathy, that's her name, she's here today. Um, just so happened to be, she's on spring break with her from her school job. That's great. She's a lunch lady. She's not. Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with lunch ladies. Um, anyway, what about lunch ladies? I don't make it seem like I asked about lunch ladies. <laughs> you were 19 years old. I was old. 19 and then, so we started this band and I was like, oh, you know, like it was just like a fluke, like when you're playing in the basement or whatever. And Kathy went upstairs and she's like, oh my God, will you come sing in our blues band? And I was like, oh, you're gonna, me? Sing in your so band? Your sister just ran upstairs and grabbed no, you. No, Kathy, my friend. Oh, your friend, Kathy. My sister would run, dump, run downstairs and be like, go away. <laughs> no, I love my sister. You very sang much. in a choir as well. What were you, um, how did you fit into a choir? I stole all the solos because there's about 12 of us in that choir. Oh, yeah. And there was one girl, there were a lot of watermelon singers in there. What is a watermelon singer? But why, why do they call them watermelon singers? Because they say watermelon over and over again because they shouldn't sing. Oh. So when you're in a choir and you're not actually singing, you just say watermelon no, choir? No, 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 no. It means when you're in a choir and people can't carry it because you don't have enough people, they're like, the three of y'all that can do this uh -huh. and the one that is all right, we're going to... The rest of y'all just say watermelon, just with your lips, and then everybody sings it. Oh my gosh. Wait, anyway, so back to Carrie. Bradshaw. Oh my God, that closet, am I right? Are we talking about- What a fictional character you could- Are we talking about Sex in the City now? Is that what just happened? I mean- You went from Carrie Brownstein to Carrie kidding. Bradshaw? That was comedy! Oh, it was very good. That's what I always tell people. Like, people think, oh my God, that's so funny. I'm like, usually that's the sign of something being funny. <laughs> Some people say it to you. But I'll just tell you really quickly is that like we, quickly, they took us on an entire, hey! Said. It's not gonna need quicker like this, buddy. <laughs> anyway, you gotta flatten this out. <laughs> There's just a lot going. Anyway, you really wanna know. Harry took us on tour. What's he doing? I can see you in that screen. Just Slater, so you know. Slater took you Slater on our first on. tour ever. I'd been on one plane. Nathan had been on one plane. I think Kathy maybe had been on a plane before. Like we, they, they took us on an entire six-week tour. It, we were in, we were insane. You're going to Germany and the UK. That's not the end of my story. Oh, I'm sorry. But then I was going to go back to Arkansas and become a hairdresser. Okay. Uh, Slater King was playing at the Crystal Ballroom in Portland, which is this lovely venue. And I told Carrie I was gonna do that after the tour. And she asked the, the crowd, she's like, okay, who here think, Carrie was like, what are you thinking? Why wouldn't you stay here and just keep playing music? I was like, can't make a living doing that. And she, was, she asked the crowd, who here thinks that Beth Ditto should stay here and pursue her rock and roll life and career? And who thinks she should move back to Arkansas and go to beauty school? And everyone cheered for me to go away. No, everyone cheered for me to stay. What a fantastic yeah. thing. And, and now here you still are. Yeah. I mean, like, I think it's such a, I like that story. I never get to tell it, but yeah. So when you're talking about being 18, like, if it wasn't for people. I, I you know what? We owe a debt of gratitude to that audience uh, in Portland uh, for you being here tonight. And we're very excited yeah. to hear your song. Speaking Thank of audiences, UK and Germany, we will be there. You will be in the UK and Germany. It must be uh, from a, a girl from Arkansas going to Germany, doing shows. Does it feel like a long way from home? I mean, it used to. The first time I went to the UK I was 19. I did not understand why you needed a passport. Uh huh. And they had to rush one for Oh, me. wow, yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, I don't get the big deal. And then when I got there, I was like, different money. Yeah. Like, I'm not joking. I was like, what? <laughs> like, I mean, I was really a kid from Arkansas. Did you, know? you when you saw different money for the first time, were, was it exciting? Did you think like, whoa, this is- Yeah, 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 yeah. So exciting, actually. This, okay. So I have a lot of nieces and nephews and I would travel over the world and you know, you can't exchange coins or whatever. Yeah. So I'd bring back this big thing of coins, you know, like, like with have holes in it and yeah. these elaborate designs. Have you ever been anywhere before? 
have, where they have money, different kind of money locks. Yeah. Yeah, well, kind of like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would give them to my nieces and nephews because I was like, oh my oh, God, yeah, yeah. this is incredible. Best. Did not care. But I feel like um, we we're, end this. Uh, we're almost out of time seven minutes ago. Well, why did you get my Rudolph on here then? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just I'm saw her backstage. We had such a, oh, mm. I just love her so much. You guys, that's Beth Ditto, everybody. <laughs> Real Power is out now. Gossip is performing for us after the break.